Welcome to a very special five on five, doing things a bit differently, as you can see. We're pleased to welcome back Brit Orchestra Music Director Teddy Abrams. Teddy, good to see you again. How are you today? Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so before we get into Crater Lake and why you have the beautiful lake behind you, mm -hmm. we'll talk about the announcement tonight for the for the season this summer. What are you most excited about? Well, I am excited to bring the orchestra back every single summer. This is something I look forward to all year. This is our orchestra. The Brit Orchestra comes here from around the world. We have musicians in major orchestras that play for their regular season, and they too look forward to being here in Southern Oregon and playing a very intense season of three weeks of programming in August. And so we're coming back with a really exciting uh, group of programs, some very, very uh, powerful pieces of music, I think, that have all been put together to give you this giant world of music that we're bringing to you. So mm -hmm. we're starting with pieces uh, uh, like Stravinsky's incredible ballet, Petrushka, and a world premiere of a Russian composer, Lev Zerbin, who's writing a piece just for the very opening of the programming. In the middle of the season, we're doing one of the largest scale, most extraordinary works in the orchestral repertoire called the Resurrection Symphony of Mahler. It's this huge mm -hmm. piece of music, about an hour and a half long, that it depicts pretty much the entire world or an entire universe of sound. Wow. So it's this vast composition that involves full choir, vocal soloists, and a very large orchestra, about 100 people plus. Ooh. And then we finish out the season with a really remarkable performance of uh, the uh, Mussorgsky pictures at an exhibition. And in the middle, there's one other thing that's particularly exciting, and that's something we're going to be announcing just now, and that is a collaboration with the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. It's been a priority of mine ever since I came to Brit to work out some kind of collaboration with one of the really great arts organizations in the entire world. And so we're presenting this program that we're working together to create and build that will really, I think, tell a beautiful story of, of this collaboration with OSF and wow. the Brit Orchestra. Very exciting. Okay, and, and you guys are kicking everything off at Crater Lake in late July, the Friday, Saturday, last weekend in July, is that right? Exactly. It's, it's the 29th and 30th of July, just before the Brit Orchestra season actually begins. And this is a really big deal for us because this is unprecedented and it's on a, a scale and a level that we've never attempted. This is a, really a once-in-a-lifetime event, and people say that all the time. They say something's once-in-a-lifetime. I believe this is once in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. We are bringing up 40-something musicians from the Brit Orchestra. We are bringing up choirs, a vast kind of army of choirs. Uh, there are percussionists from the Klamath tribe. A huge number of musicians are going to Crater Lake, and for two days we are going to be making music there in a world premiere composition that we have commissioned specifically for Brit to be performing at Crater Lake. Wow. And this is no ordinary concert. That's the big deal about this. This is not just like bringing up a stage and setting up microphones and, and, and creating a traditional concert experience. This is about integrating Crater Lake, one of the most magnificent settings in this entire country, with music. So we are growing the music organically. This piece of music that we've commissioned is by one of the world-renowned composers of our time named Michael Gordon. And he's writing the piece to be a musical installation throughout the lake. So you'll see all the people come together kind of set up in a natural setting and they'll be performing in that way but there will also be smaller groups of musicians spread out throughout the entire perimeter all 30 something miles wow. around the lake so you'll experience music all over the place as if it was just growing naturally wow beautiful yeah. okay so if, if people want to be a part of that can, can they come out? Are tickets available? Where can they get tickets? And that's the really cool thing. There are no tickets to this. If you get into the National Park, you get to see the music. It is going to be a part of the National Park that day. It's a genuine collaboration between the National Park Service and the Brit Orchestra. These things happen very, very rarely. It's mm -hmm. very unusual to see a major musical performance, an installation in, in something like a National Park, because they are so precious and they're so carefully protected. And that's why we're approaching this with the greatest respect for this very special place. Mm -hmm. But it means that we want everyone to be able to see this. So if you can get into the park, you get to see the music on those two days. And it is during the day. Okay. These performances, these little performances and the big ones are all going to take place throughout those days. So it's not something where you have to be there uh, at night. You'll actually mm -hmm. get to experience this right along with the park during the period that you'd be out there exploring it. So, oh, so this beautiful. is a really special experience. Very nice. Okay, now, now I have to ask, in case people are not able to make it, can, can they hear this piece uh, anywhere else? And we are going to play it one more time. So this is really okay. like a, a two-time two, two time deal at Crater Lake or at the Brit Festival. So the very last concert of the season in August, 
at our Brit Hill. We're going to play the piece one more time. So ideally, people who saw it up there at Crater Lake will be able to bring back the experience and relive mm -hmm. it, and we'll bring a little bit of Crater Lake to the Brit Hill. Wow. And so uh, we, of course, as I said, want to make this piece available to everyone. So we encourage everybody to come up to Crater Lake. If you're mm -hmm. planning which weekend you're coming up to Crater Lake, because I know everybody makes a pilgrimage out there sure. in this area, make sure it's that weekend. And if you're able to support this, uh, that is wonderful too. At, at our website, we make it very easy to even just make a small donation to help make this possible because this is a major production mm -hmm. and we are shining a spotlight on Southern Oregon for the entire world. This is that big of a deal. Wow, very exciting. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.